I like it. Okay, here we got our Dake press that we bought. All right, there's the number. Gave $300 for it, auction. She's straight. She's been sitting out in the weeds for quite a while. So I did pull the pump down a little bit for the cylinder down a little bit. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty rough back here. We're gonna have to do a lot of work there. Fortunately, it looks like you can still get parts for these and they actually still make them. So stay tuned here, we're coming on up. Okay, we're gonna try to get the oil out of this guy. <gasps> Nothing in there. Well, there's no oil in it, but uh, I got these. We're sitting in the ground and it's smashed. So I started taking this off. That is got a little air leaking out around. Looks like we're gonna have to do a full rebuild. So these things are like built like insane. Pretty impressive. I just hope the parts don't cost very much. All right, let's see what this looks like. Not much to her. So she looks really nice inside her been laying in the dirt forever. As you can see there. And there. Okay, we got this pump tore apart here. That's what she looks like. Trying to get that shaft out of there, but uh, Get the piston there. You shall see, looks like she needs a little work. So I got this piece here out. So I was trying to figure out how that comes out. It actually, you gotta just wiggle it back and forth. I got all the screws out and then it comes out this way. It's actually a really complex little pump system. She obviously needs all cleaned up though. Okay, so I got this air motor tore it apart. We, I cleaned it all out, slightly oiled it. I did get, I was lucky enough to find one of these cylinders. What happened is it got crushed. When they laid the press down, I did find one of these $40 for that, 40 bucks. So, I'm gonna put this back together. I wanna see if it's gonna work. And I wanna see if I gotta get a rebuild kit for the press, which I'm sure I do. But I just gotta try, I guess. So we're gonna get this back together. Okay, now that I got that free in there, this goes back and forth. Real easy. Was stuck. I got it to work, guys. Wow. Now let's see if she'll pump a little oil.
I tried it already, it actually works now. There's nothing leaking out of that gland seal leak off there. I found out what that was. So, that's good news. Now I have to spend $1,500 for this. That's what they want for that. I just put a new gland packing seal in there. Right there. That kit right there. That's what I put in to keep it from leaking out of the little orifice here. There's a little weep hole. Stuff was coming out of here, leaking down. Won't build pressure out of the side. Okay guys, I'm actually pretty excited here. We got that air motor freed up. This one needs work done. You only really need one. You got two just to uh, make it go faster. So this is what she sounds like. <laughs> So far, I think there's a little air in the cylinder. Uh, it's bleeds down just a little bit and then it quits. I think I like it. So far, so good. No major leaks. Wood's about ready to explode. Got 10 tons on her. Like I said, it bleeds down just a little bit, but I think that is worth good to go. Anyway, I'm gonna probably work on that one. That one should be good. We're gonna kind of clean this all up, blast it probably. Thankfully, I don't have to buy a new cylinder kit. The way it looks, I can live with that. A little bit of bleed down. I think it's still holding there. Yeah, it dropped a little bit. We'll see what it does, but we'll give her a few cycles and make sure she works good. Anyway, stay tuned for the finished product. Thanks for watching.